Hello, uh, today we will see how we can design an AWS Lambda function that will react to any file that will be uploaded to any S3 bucket. Uh, there are some resources on this topic in the internet but most of them are in uh, Python. Uh, we will do it with Node.js. So the idea is you have an S3 bucket, you upload a file into it, it may be an image, it may be an excel sheet or anything. Uh, and the lambda function will get triggered once the file upload is successful the lambda function then will download the file from the s3 bucket and do some operation on it for example one possible operation can be you if you want to generate a thumbnail version of an actual size image uh, you can use this lambda function to do that or maybe you are uploading some excel file into s3 bucket and you want to parse that excel file to read some data from that and maybe save into dynamodb so there is there are many use cases uh, where you can uh, use this uh, architecture so let's first talk about the basics so uh, for your lambda function to access the s3 bucket you will have to provide the uh, necessary permissions so that the lambda function can access to uh, have access to that particular s3 bucket we'll see how how we can do that uh, in the later part of this video let's first uh, see uh, i will not type the codes uh, uh, all of these uh, codes the codes repository will be in the description so uh, here uh, it's, it is an utility class this is the purpose of this utility class is to uh, have some um, utility functions uh, so that whenever we specify the bucket name, the file key and file path, uh, this function will download the file from the S3 and save it on the local storage. So that when we are uh, accessing it from the Lambda, we can have the actual file. So uh, there are uh, another utility function, uh, you, although you will not use it in this particular example, but if you want to upload any file to S3, you can do that uh, with this function. And there is uh, the third utility function it will clear the downloaded file so uh, any file that will be downloaded to the particular lambda so that uh, we uh, when we don't need that file we will delete it from the system so these are the utility functions let's see uh, what we are doing in our uh, actual lambda function right so here we uh, have uh, another utility function named extract s3 info so from the s3 create event as we said that a object will be created in the s3 bucket and that will trigger this lambda so the event type is s3 created event and from this event we are extracting bucket name and the key name in the actual lambda lambda handler we can see that uh, let me close it uh, we can see that we are first getting the s3 info we are uh, finding out the uh, actual file name and the file extension and uh, we are downloading it downloading the file uh, in our local system in this line then uh, you can do whatever you want with this file you can parse it you can minimize it you can reduce the size of it you can do whatever you want and then if you want to upload it to another s3 bucket you can do it with this function as well but we are not doing anything we are just showing how we can download the file that is uploaded to s3 bucket into a lambda function and you can do whatever you want inside this lambda function so this is our uh, handler code now let's see at our template file so in the template file these are uh, common things uh, you should be familiar with this template file if you are using aws sam uh, we are using aws sam here Th this is the global section uh, in the under the resources section where we are going to use the actual uh, actual necessary resources that we need for this particular example here we can see that uh, for the s3 bucket we have created an s3 bucket named uh, we didn't specify any name here if you want you can do that by uh, doing the properties for example if you specify some bucket name here uh, it will uh, generate a bucket name according to that but as we know that s3 bucket names have to be unique it's safer to leave it to the aws's own uh, functions to generate the appropriate bucket name for us here we have the lambda function uh, the lambda function is pretty straightforward we specify the path the handler and in the event section we are specifying that this lambda function will get triggered whenever any file is uploaded to s3 and here we are specifying that particular bucket so uh, this 
bucket reference is just the bucket that we created earlier in our template and we, we are specifying the events here uh, object created event uh, so whenever any new object is created so uh, you can see the uh, documentation to check out for other events as well and another interesting thing is we are defining a special policy here so why do we need this policy we said earlier that this lambda function needs to have access to this s3 bucket and how aws sam does it is whenever he it is trying to create a function it's creating an iam role with this function associated with this function now the problem is this function to be created in order to be this function to be created we need to know the name of the s3 bucket beforehand and this s3 bucket also needs to know the name of the function before that so it's creating a circular dependency error in fact if you try to uh, do that without this policy if we, we know that we can define the policies uh, in the uh, lambda uh, inside that uh, lambda function uh, in the template file if you do it try to do it with the policies it will give you it will show you that you have a circular dependency error the reason is this function needs this s3 bucket and this s3 bucket also needs this function so there is no way of resolving this error the solution is to create a separate policy and this policy will be named uh, read s3 bucket policy because we only want to read the uh, bucket uh, these are the versions uh, we are allowing the get object and here in the resource section we are specifying the same s3 bucket that we created earlier uh, and specifying that rn arn and uh, saying that all of the objects under this bucket will be accessible by this policy will be allowed by this policy and here is the special section we are adding the roles here so in the roles we can see that this part of the roles is exactly th like this function's name so as we said earlier that aws sam creates an associated iam role for each of the functions and the roles name is just like this function's name but at the end of it there will be an extra word that is called role so we can safely assume that this function will have a role named this function uh, and will uh, it will end with role name so here we are just appending the role property and this role will have this policy this policy will allow to access this bucket and this bucket will be then accessed by this function so this is the summary of uh, what this template file is doing so once uh, you are done with your uh, code uh, you can uh, just build it like sam build uh, and the, uh, after the build is successful you can just deploy it and i have already deployed it but this prop this will uh, give you some options uh, of the stack name region uh, and uh, etc so i'll not do that but uh, you should obviously be knowing how to do that already so uh, once you are uh, upload uh, this code to the s3 bucket and uh, deploy it uh, to the s3 uh, you then go to the uh, s3 console of your aws account and upload a file and watch the logs in order to see uh, if your uh, file is being properly downloaded or not so uh, that's all uh, the links of the uh, github repository will be in the description thank you